Well, in 1981, I was up at the uh, Farm and Ranch Show in Edmonton, Alberta, which at that time was run by Southex. And um, I was talking to Judy Hurd up there, and I said, Judy, have you ever looked at Red Deer as a site for a farm show? And Judy said, you know, as a matter of fact, we just had a management meeting on that, and we're thinking of moving down there and having a peek. Mm -hmm. So on the road back, when I was heading back to Red Deer, I thought, why did I do that? Here's an opportunity for a show to start in Red Deer by Red Deer people. And uh, at that time, the Western Exposition Facility had just moved from the old arena site. So they had the then Prairie Pavilion and the Stockman's Pavilion set up, which gave about 70,000 square feet of nice, brand new indoor space. So uh, yours truly got really busy and uh, inspired, and uh, that was the start of Agritrade. I went to the weather department in Alberta, and they said, well, over the last 20 years, it's been really, really beautiful, and it never snows before Halloween. So I thought, well, there's a window that one can't turn down. A lot of the exhibitors couldn't make it up. The roads were icy and blocked or whatever. Horrible. Yeah, the first year we had, uh, you know, we had uh, snowdrifts uh, four feet deep, and you could shoot a cannon down the hall. So a few of us talked to Pat and said, uh, how about a late night? We've got to get some of these get some of these people or give them a chance to get in. And we stayed open until nine o'clock on Friday night. Well the place was a zoo. That was an ideal idea that was good and he was willing to listen. But we did move the show into November, and of course uh, the Westerner provided the access to the facility in November, and from that point the show really, really started to take off. You know, to Pat's credit, anytime you start a show, any show in any industry, uh, we give you a three-year lifespan, and if it doesn't take off in three years, you're usually dead in the water. So Patrick's ability to work through the challenges and actually turn this into the significant event that it is today for agriculture is amazing. Agritrade is Western Canada's largest equipment expo. So we feature only new agricultural equipment and services. Agritrade has been fantastic for us and we've, uh, we've built it over the years with Pat's help. It's been gigantic for our company for business. It's a tremendous opportunity for us to reconnect with our farmers right after harvest time and, uh, and just to say hi and celebrate the crop that came off. And that's what I always say, it's the right show at the right time in the right location. Well, Agritrade to me is the show in Western Canada. It seems to get bigger and better every year. Any information you need, there's the opportunity to have one-on-one -on -one conversations, and I think that's that's where Agritrade really shines. But the big one is you get to visit with a lot of friends. That's the major one at Agritrade. I found you come, you meet your friends, you have a good time, you go for supper. It's just a great social gathering. It's a uh, it's about business. It's about getting leads. kind of necessary you be there if you're if you're not it's conspicuous in your absence if you're not at the end of the day relationships are still the key to successful business if you don't have that relationship um, and there's only so much relationship you can build via email and phone agritrade is a very big show for us yes it's a great show, first one of the season, one of the biggest ones of the year. Here they can come kick the tires and see what we're all about, meet the people. Yeah, it's one of the top shows. Agritrade is awesome for ATB. Agritrade is, it presents a very serious face when it talks about where agriculture is heading. It's a great place to focus your efforts and, and I think uh, Agritrade has got that in its sights right now. The 
plans that are that are ahead for AgriTrade are absolutely mind blowing, and I have the opportunity and the privilege of sitting with Diane and and being privy to some of this uh, information, and it's absolutely exciting. We want to be always bringing the newest and brightest for that attendee and making sure they have that chance to interact with it. It's exciting to see you know the new things that are coming to AgriTrade and how farming's changed. We'd always like to see more space. Um, Part of our strategic development plan is, is the addition of, of two more facilities on our site that would all tie together and, and uh, allow for easy access to one building that would house all of AgriTrade. My mandate for the next two years is to chart a course for AgriTrade to have a higher technology component inside the trade show. With this year's show, we're adding in the Ag Tech Pavilion. So now we're bringing another level to that farmer and saying, listen, we're not only equipment now, we're gonna, we're gonna try and help you farm smarter. As organizers, it, it is important for us to go beyond tradition and take it to new places. I mean, if you get the right exhibitors, and you know the, the, the people are going to come. I mean, we're in a, a good central location, so the people are going to come. We really, really, really appreciate our exhibitors. I have to say one thing that I've always said, and that is, the show belongs to the exhibitors. Without those exhibitors, we just wouldn't have an event. And when I see the passion, and I see the dedication, and I see the hard work that these exhibitors put into the show every year. I'm just totally in awe. We create the environment for them to run in, and boy do they run in it strong. Thank you so much to our exhibitors. This is all for you and you make it happen, so we're so glad you're here. Happy is not the word to describe it. We're really delighted to have a wonderful show for you, and it is for you. Please don't ever forget that.